Hello, my name is Matvey, and today we'll talk about the multi-login local API and how you can use it to automate the actions inside the application. So as you can see, we're currently on the Swagger Hub documentation page, and I will include the link to the documentation in the video description. So here we have a few methods, and please note that they are divided between version 1 and version 2. For example, here we have the create profile method, method to get a list of profiles with some information about the profile, including its ID. We also have the update profile endpoint, and here you can see all the parameters that are available to use when creating profile or updating it. You can also use the API to remove profiles, to migrate from older version, or to update the browser core. So here I have prepared a few code examples that utilize the API to demonstrate what can be done inside the application. For example, here is the method to create profile. And here we specify the name, the operating system, and the type of browser, which are actually the required parameters. And if you do not specify other parameters, they will be selected randomly. Here we also have a method called bulk create, which basically performs the create profile action multiple times. So let's test this method. And let's create four more profiles. So as you can see, I currently have one profile inside the application. Let's run the code. And we can see that four more profiles were created. Let's check inside the app. All right, now we do have five profiles inside the app. You can also use the software like Postman to send the API requests. So let's test it by getting a list of profiles. And as you can see, now we have the information about every profile, including their name, type of browser, and the ID. You can also use it to send create profile requests. So let's create a few more Mimic profiles. Let's just create three of them. Check inside the app. All right, now eight profiles in total. What we can also do is we can delete profiles, and for that we'll need the ID of a profile. So let's test this method. Let's grab the ID from the UI, paste it inside our code, and try to use the remove profile endpoint. Right, we can see that the profile was successfully removed. Let's check inside the app. Now, what we can also do is, for example, remove profiles based on their name. And I implemented it by calling a list of profiles, then the code will check the names of all the profiles, and if the name matches that the one that we provided, then it will remove the profiles. So let's try deleting the ones that we created with Postman software. And the name of these profiles was test. So let's check how this method works. And we can see that two profiles were deleted successfully. Now what we can also do is we can use the API to distribute the profiles between groups. And for that, let's create a group. Then let's add a profile to that group. And let's get the group ID by calling the list of profiles and checking out the ID of the group for that profile. Now we can use this group ID to assign other profiles to this group. And for this, I have created this method 
based on update profile endpoint from local API that takes the ID of profile and the ID of a group and then assigns that profile to the group. And let's call this method for every profile that we have right now. So as you can see, the process is finished. Then let's check inside the application. And we can see that the group now contains six profiles. We can also remove every single profile that we have by using this method that calls the list of profiles and then performs the remove profile action on every single ID that we have. And this is especially useful when you have hundreds or thousands of profiles. We can see that all of them are now removed successfully. Let's check inside the application once again. And as you can see, now we don't have any profiles inside the app. Also, we can use the API to assign proxies to multiple profiles. So here I have a file where I have some proxies listed already. And these are GeoSurf proxies, which is actually one of our recommended proxy providers. And although the majority of proxy solutions will work just fine with multi-login, we suggest using the high-quality residential proxies. And I will place a link in the description where you can check the GeoSurf and get a discount for both GeoSurf and multi-login if you decide to subscribe. So as you can see, I have created five more profiles in here, and they do not have any proxies as of now. And I have this change proxies method that uses the API to get a list of all the IDs. Then it reads the file with proxies and then assigns the proxy details to the profiles using our update profile local API endpoint. All right, we can see that the process is now finished. Let's check the profiles now. And as you can see, the proxy details are now entered inside the profile. What we can do next is we can check how the actual browser automation works. And for that, I created a small script that opens up the profile, goes to our what is my IP page, and then outputs your IP and your location. So let's test how it will work. We can see that the profile is launching now. The required page will now open and the script will output the IP and the region that we just saw. All right, the script is now finished and we can see the details from the browser now. And like that, you can automate pretty much any other action inside the browser window. And what is worth mentioning is that the multi-login uses our own builds of Selenium and Puppeteer, which are a lot harder for websites to actually detect. We can also import cookies inside the profiles using the import cookies endpoint from local API. And this is, of course, very convenient when you need to import the cookies inside hundreds of profiles. Here I have prepared some multilogin.com cookies in the JSON format. So let's create a new profile and import the cookies right away. Okay, the process is now finished and let's open up this new profile and check if the cookies were imported successfully. And now if we go to cookie settings, we can see that it actually contains 
the cookies that we have just imported. So once again, the API makes your work a lot more comfortable, especially when you're dealing with lots and lots of profiles every day and lets you automate pretty much any action inside the browser. I will leave a link to the Python code examples that we used in this video in the description. And if you have any questions regarding the API or automation, then please contact us at support at multilogin.com. Thank you for watching.